Hi everyone, it's TJ here with Avidyne. Um, in the following brief video, we're going to be discussing the IFD interface with the Electronics International FP5L uh, fuel flow system. As always, the following information is for reference use only. For FAA approved data, please refer to the IFD installation manual. Make sure you're looking at the latest revision. Alright, so to jump in, the FP5L has some configuration settings. It needs to be configured for uh, GPS input as well as what protocol or what format you want uh, the, the output to the IFD to be in. So we'll start with the input for the FP5L coming from the IFD. IFD output is going to be set for aviation. and You're going to go into the FP5L and you're going to configure it for N1. Um, that receives uh, moving map data baud rate at 9600 standard aviation is what it's looking for the key to this is understanding that setting up this in one for GPS reception um, that's what actually enables the FP5L GPS output port which we're going to talk about right now on the output side there are four different options um, there's a, an OT0, an OT1, OT2, OT3. So if you're doing Oscar Tango 0 on the FP5L, that's no data. If you're doing Oscar Tango 1, that's going to be a shade and fuel format. So that's what you're going to set the IFD up for is shade and fuel on that input. Uh, FP5L set for Oscar Tango 2, that's also going to be a shade and fuel format. If the FP5L is set up for Osco Tango 3, Oscar Tango 3, you're going to set that for Shaden FADC. Um, hope that makes sense, but it's those protocols have to match and it needs to be set accordingly, and it's uh, it's not super obvious anyplace. So there's the quick and skinny on that. Um, let us know if you have any problems. Like always, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.